What's going on, all you wild aristocrats out there? Your two favorite movie critics are back once again, and tonight we are talking about a brand new film that is currently streaming on Amazon Prime Video. It stars Barry Keegan and Jacob Elordi in Saltburn. You know, it's not for you. Lots of people get lost in Saltburn. Oh, that's just giving me goosebumps. Look, Pamela. Oh, no. I think you're not quiet, harmless, drawn to shiny things. What have you done? I just thought that maybe I could help. You're not leaving us. You're not leaving us. I think I'll ever go home again. Why do I feel the need? I want to take a bath now. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> it has to do with something with uh, Jacob Lordy's character in the film. But I don't know. <laughs> Just a hunch. Uh, but that's right. These two wild boys are back for our newest review of Saltburn that's uh, currently streaming on Amazon Prime Video. It's directed and written by Emerald Fennel. She's the one that did Promising Young Women with Carrie Mulligan a few years ago. And this is her newest, wildest, you know, crazy movie that she just put out. And it's the setup is an Oxford University student played by Barry Keegan. Um, essentially, he's done with school. He makes a friend played by um, Jacob Elordi. He's rich. So he goes, hangs out with Jacob Elordi's family in this huge mansion, huge estate. He's loaded. And, you know, he goes in there to dive into their wealthy lifestyle. Yeah, it's like a voyeuristic relationship. He sees all that uh, Felix's family has has there at Saltburn, and he just like instantly gets sucked into the world. He's had his eye on Felix the whole time he got to Oxford. Felix is really cool, and you know everybody likes him, and he really admires him. So he's always like watching him from afar. He gets like an obsession with Felix, and you know he ends up confiding into you know with felix about some family issues that he says he has back home and that's when felix invites him over to saltburn which is their big estate there they're a very rich and wealthy family and oliver barry keegan's character is going to stay this summer over there with the family just hang out and chill and pretty much every crazy thing imaginable happens that summer and this is barry keegan's oliver looking back um, in time, it's, you know, from 2023, we see him talking and telling basically what happened that summer and what happened. And then eventually over the, you know, course of events over the film and then to the end, you kind of see what's happening. You don't really know what's happening and why he's telling the story, but everything becomes apparent, um, you know, by the time it's over. So when Oliver and Felix get to the the estate Saltburn, he, you know, Oliver gets to meet the rest of the family here. You know, Ro Rosamund Pike he plays a mother. Sir James, played by Richard E. Grant, uh, is a father. And, of course, you got the brother here. He was the kid that was just in Gran Turismo, a really fantastic movie. Um, but he plays Farley, the brother. Then, of course, the sister here meets the whole family. They're all different characters. They're all rich, snobs, wealthy, better than everybody. They have more money. And you just Man. really get to dive into each character and, throughout the film and, and see what they're all about. Yeah. And, you know, from Promising Young Woman, you kind of get that same kind of uh, vengeful story here. There's a lot, you know, a subject of vengeance that's going on with this family and the events. We don't want to spoil anything with what happens specifically, but it has to do with Oliver's obsession and, you know, basically some lies that are told and all these, you know, intricate relationships within the family. And it all has to do with Oliver you know, he ends up having a relationship with Farley. Um, and then he also has a relationship with Venetia in there. And it, you know, turns sexual. <laughs> and some really deviant things happen throughout this movie. There are, you know, several scenes um, that you, you'll you probably be shocked, you know, with. They're pretty shocking scenes, even by today's standard. But yeah, they stick out. But this is very much about manipulation and like, you know, sexual obsession and with Oliver's character, specifically Barry Keegan goes off the rails here and a really great performance. Another great performance from this kid. He's, you know, one of the great up and coming actors that we have. And this is another role where he really gets to just go full balls to the wall crazy inhabiting this character 
And, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty diabolical what happens I'll say. And, uh, you know, it kept me guessing up until the end. I didn't really know that it was going to go to where it goes by the end of the movie. Yeah. The first hour of the film is just like setting everything up, them going to this, you know, estate and trying to relax over summer and get to know one another. The last hour just goes off the rails. <laughs> it's like, whoa, yeah. didn't see that coming. <laughs> you know, one after the next, you know, bathtub scene, won't say too much, a grave and um, some other stuff that I don't want to spoil. But yeah, it just goes off the rails. It's crazy. It's uh, not what you expect, but it, you know, it's done in a fun way. Some people might be grossed out by it, but I thought it was just fun. And that was the whole point. Harry Keegan, a up and coming actor. You love this kid. Been in a bunch of stuff as of late. Loved him in Killing of a Sacred Deer, Banshees, and a bunch of other films. But he keeps getting better and better. And this is a kid we're going to have to keep an eye out for. A young lad from Ireland, and he's really tearing it up lately. And loved his performance in this film. I loved his chemistry with Felix, Jacob Elordi. I thought they were fantastic. Oliver was in love with Felix. And it's pretty apparent throughout the, the movie as he watches them and things that happen to them. But they were really great on screen together and the rest of the cast. I agree with you. Yeah, some really great acting in this movie. Rosamund Pike, she's always is terrific in all her roles she really plays this you know that rich and snobby mom of the family here just really conceited and just you know terrible character you know and she just plays it so well and then jacob alordi here who we've seen of course from euphoria and he played elvis recently he's just really good at playing this role of being kind of like the rich kid that everybody wants to be with all these underlying problems you know that he just plays it really well and yeah, like you mentioned, him and uh, Barry Keegan, their chemistry was great. They felt like, you know, they worked well together. They felt like they could be friends in real life, um, you know. And the rest of this young cast, I didn't know the other uh, who played Venetia. I had never seen her work before, but she was great. And then Farley, as you mentioned, you know, the actor from Gran Turismo, he was great as well. There's a lot of uh, twisted things that happen in the movie. But like you said, you know, you shouldn't be... This isn't a movie that's just trying to offend everybody. It's just like showing this wild, crazy rich family and what happens when these two young characters meet and all the craziness that happens. It's a memorable movie. It's fun. It's not like a great movie or anything, but it's just the style of it. I like uh, this director, Emerald Fennels. The, her style is undeniable with this movie and Promising Young Woman. Yeah, she's a very stylistic director, that's for sure. She has you know, her own unique look at films and when you see it you're like okay that's Emerald Fennel for sure and this is definitely another example I had a great time with this I didn't know much about this film everybody's been talking about it online and how shocking it is and I will say it was very surprising and shocking and also fun time and completely ridiculous scenes and goes off the rail but it's a fun movie yeah. to watch at least once is it a movie I would pick up and watch again probably not but it's definitely worth a watch you'll have a fun time with it definitely don't have kids watching this movie with you because <laughs> it gets no. pretty crazy there but yeah, I had a great time with this directing, cast, score, some cinematography, good looking movie. Love the this state they were staying at. It reminded me of The Crown and a bunch of other, you know, English stuff. It was just really well done, fun movie. Definitely check it out on Amazon Prime Video. So that being said, I'm gonna give Saltburn, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Barry Keegan head pieces. <laughs> Yeah, I agree with what you said. Definitely worth watching. It uh, was enjoyable. I was entertained throughout. Didn't know where it was going to go. And, uh, you know, it really had some crazy out there scenes, memorable scenes. Anyway, you can say that much. Great performances, you know, fun uh, actors to watch on screen together, especially Barry Keegan and Jacob Elordi. I look forward to their work in the future. They have, you know, promising careers ahead of them. And with that being said, I am going to give Saltburn, I'm going to give it a four. Out of five, Barry Keegan full frontals. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, yeah. and then it gets even wilder at the very end of the film, too, with the dance scene with Barry Keegan, and that's all we'll say about that. Thank you guys so much for watching our review of Saltburn. Uh, please make sure to check out our website, cinefellas.com, and follow along with us on all our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and X, for all the latest and greatest in TV movie news and reviews. That's right, folks. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel right here. Me and this guy will be back pretty much every week for the rest of the year. <laughs> Something coming out each week, TV or film, but me and this guy will be back reviewing a bunch of stuff for your viewing pleasure. So stay tuned for that. And if you haven't already, click subscribe below. So until the next Cinefellas Movie Review, I'm Uncle Henry Keegan. And I'm Uncle Logan Lordy. Signing out until the next movie review. Jeez. Jeez.